Hi, welcome back. Um, we've only played two games, <coughs> um, but interesting things are happening. So, uh, three nil <coughs> against Zazuna was the last game. Um, then we played CS Makta away. Uh, went one nil down. Got a goal just before half time. <coughs> oh, sorry, two goals. Yeah, two one up at half time. They got two men sent off, and then we smashed in a third, and one one against whoever they are. Um, 2,000 attendances, two away fans, <clears throat> 2,000 home, 2,000 attendances of around 2,000 people for home games. But that's not really working out <clears throat> financially for us because we're now back to £66,000 in debt. Um, but we're only 200 quid a week above on the wage budget. So, I, don't really, I know we're losing some money in wages, but I don't know where it's all going. Um, in news, we have a new contract to negotiate. <clears throat> um, so, let's have a look. <clears throat> so, it's a one-year contract on £500 a week, which is the same money. A relegation wage <clears throat> drop of 35% and promotion wage rise of 15%. Uh, we know that the <clears throat> the league above is difficult league. We know there's a lot. It's split, isn't it? We had a look before. We'll have a look again. But I think the top six or seven teams are, are quite similar in strength. <clears throat> there's a couple of mid-table teams that are good, and then there's a gap <clears throat> to the lower teams. So I think we're going to be in that lower gap area. Um, <clears throat> first things first, we'll try to get some more money out of them. Five. No, they're quite stubborn. We're not close at all, are we? Yes! £25 a week extra. Woohoo! <clears throat> Buy a new car. Right, so we've got a new year, one year deal anyway. That's alright. <clears throat> so, we are potentially one win away from promotion and the championship here. 18 points to play for. So the most they can get is... 64 points and we're on 60 <clears throat> um, let's look at the league above I don't know which one was if it's <clears throat> well that's league 2 group B as you can see <clears throat> you've got your top top couple of teams <clears throat> then there's that gap here and then the bottom well the bottom two teams are quite adrift anyway bottom three bottom four teams and then in the same league group A very, very similar. A little bit tighter here. Top five teams are quite bunched together. Then you've got that mid-table gap. And then you've got the struggling pack at the bottom. Um, so, I think whichever group we get stuck into will be in that bottom area. Um, but the main thing for this next season is to build up our young, <coughs> our young players. So, our goalkeeper. You know, already looking pretty solid um, <clears throat> valued over a thousand pound um, in this league already which is a lot of money because our defensive right <clears throat> is valued at a thousand pound we've had offers over fifteen thousand um, pound so we just need to make sure that we don't slide too far into debt where the board say you have to sell someone to make up the money because that would be absolutely terrible um, we've got our 17-year-old, <clears throat> he was 17-year-old striker now, um, <clears throat> always improving, already valued at £4,000, <clears throat> but with his <clears throat> with his age, with his current ability, his potential ability, you know, we want to keep him <clears throat> at this club for as long as possible, because in three or four seasons, whether or not we'll be here, because it's a journey, man. Say we're looking to travel around the world, aren't we? And feather on the cheap. But <clears throat> whether or not we are here, he's going to be an absolute beast of a unit. Um, <clears throat> who else are we looking at? Was, um, we've just offered this guy a new contract. He's 23, so he's not particularly, particularly. He's not massively young, um, but he can do a job in midfield, um, especially with his flair. 
off the ball, his teamwork, his passing, his technique is all all very good qualities. Um, so <clears throat> we're going to have a look in the transfer market for a few more youngsters, see what sort of bargains we can pick up. Um, ben Sassi as well, uh, centre back, 18 years old. Um, <clears throat> A lot of this depends on his work rate, which is 10, 12 determination. But, you know, someone to keep an eye on. Valued at £3,000 already. Um, potential ability is four star. Current ability, three and a half. Eight pros, eight cons. Could go either way. Um, but that's it. We're definitely going to be here for one more season. Um, <clears throat> we've got the option to edit so we can... We can remove some leagues and add some leagues. Um, but overall, it's been a very good second season of Football Manager after being fired twice in the first season. We've had no job um, no job offers <clears throat> from any teams at this moment. Um, we will try and have a look and see if our board will smash us onto a... Um, <clears throat> what's it called? Where are we going? See if we can get onto a, a course. Mm. No. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is that we have a National B license and we want to try to get up to our, our next level, but we did apply for that possibly a couple of episodes ago so <clears throat> it might have to be like be reset might be a period of time until you can um, request to do that our media handling is going up it was at seven it's now at 12 they're the most draining things in the world and managing finances finances is obviously not fantastic due to our debt situation team discipline that's fine loyalty to players 50% that's, that's probably fair because if they have a problem a lot of the issues before the players have had an issue they've come to me and asked a question can they get more playing time <clears throat> in my head I've been like no you rubbish but I always say yeah yeah of course mate no problem go away and come back and bore me in three or four months so <clears throat> that's absolutely understandable um, my reputation is up to 10% obviously once we win this promotion uh, we should be looking to move up to probably 15% <clears throat> And especially if we go unbeaten this season uh, with six games to play. So, fingers crossed. I think we are 28 games unbeaten because last season we came in with three or four games left <clears throat> and we didn't lose. That's all massively helpful. So, yeah, overall, a very good season for us. Um, there are rumours of another takeover. <clears throat> um, but I can't see that um, coming to anything. Because obviously there was that takeover at the end of last season. Um, yeah, we're just hoping that we don't have to sell any players to recoup any money. <clears throat> so, and hopefully this board might have a bit of cash they can inject. Um, so that's, that's where we are at this moment. We've got some contracts that are going to expire as well. <clears throat> right. Obviously, we're looking at a younger players. <clears throat> so, this guy's played 21 games this season. He's sort of a midfielder, centre, um, 19 years old. <clears throat> Not too bad. Um, what we're looking at decisions. So, that guy's ten, technique 10, passing 10, first touch 8, decisions 11. Right, if we can get him for 150 quid or less, we'll keep him. There we go. Straight away, looking at 200 quid a week. Let's go to 120. Let's go to 130. Let's go to 140. 150 and a 350 pound bonus. There's no Right, he's off. We'll put him into. Is he playing currently? Belald? No. 
Right, so we can just stick him into the... Um, if he's not going to play for his next season, we'll move him into the under-21 squad so that I don't take him into account when I'm looking for players. Ah, uh, oh, a 38-year-old defensive right. Unfortunately, it's 220 quid a week, and with his age, we're not going to be able to renew that contract, and that will get us back into within budget. Oh, I didn't check the, the wage budget for next year. Did I? Maybe, I think they'll tell us later, maybe. 18-year-old um, right back. <clears throat> if we compare him to the 38-year-old we just let go. Let me have a look what we're doing. Compare with... Right, so this is the <clears throat> 38 year old. So we're looking for greens. So, right back, both right back positions, he's 18. So, mentals, not too bad. Defending itself is one point less. Physical is okay. Speed is obviously much better. Vision, it's not that bad. Better moving forward. Technique is lacking, but aerial. So, he'll do a job. So we'll offer him a new contract because of two reasons. First of all, his age, and second of all, <clears throat> um, it'll be a lot cheaper. Just need to find him. Breakthrough prospect. Right. So obviously we are getting promoted, so people automatically want a lot more money than what they're actually. Oh no, sorry, that's not a bonus. He's hundred quid a week. Oh, come on, mate. How low can you go? 140. That's all right, isn't it? 18-year-old um, midfielder. He's only played three games a season. Mm. One to watch for the future. Ben Salim. Backup goalkeeper. Set for release, even if we'll just set for release, that's going to be quite a week extra that we'll have to spend. I brought this guy in uh, on the left, he's not really performed as much, so, so we can set him for release, and that's 200 quid a week there. So we're just going through these players and just trying to weed out the, the rubbish and sort of let's say if we do get, get rid of players, stick them into the under 21s so that we know exactly where we are. With the squad that we've got, um, so that's it really. We'll come back for the next game because obviously we can win promotion on the league, and we're going to go through and try to see what sort of trial shifts we can get on as well. Um, so yeah, take it easy. I'll be back later, and I hope you enjoyed this little um, sort of filler episode, if you will. <laughs>